Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Drago. Welcome to my Dark Souls Platinum Trophy Guide. Uh, in this guide, I'm going to show you how to get all the trophies in Dark Souls. Uh, I'll show you how to beat all the bosses. Uh, I'll show you how to get all the weapons that you need, uh, all the weapons and items of note, and so on and so forth. Uh, hopefully, you guys will enjoy. Uh, let me know what type of things uh, you'd like to see from this playthrough. Uh, also, let me know if there are any specific weapons or items you'd be interested in seeing me use. Uh, as you can see, start as Pyromancer, uh, easiest choice really. Uh, level 1, you can customize your stats in any way you want. Uh, you can pretty much do this of any build, but with uh, uh, Pyromancer, you get some uh, pretty nice spells to start out with, such as Fireball, uh, make a really quick work out of the first boss that you encounter. Uh, you can see him, he's waiting for me up on the top of the roof. Uh, he will drop down once you enter the arena. Uh, you can just go ahead and make your way through this doorway on the left. If you really want to get the Demon Hammer on this playthrough, don't know why anyone would, but you can uh, spend about half hour to try beating him with a straight sword hilt. Or you can pick uh, Black Fire Bombs as your starting gift. Would not recommend that. Uh, Master Key is the best choice by far will allow you quick access to some of the areas and uh, access to some uh, needed items right at the start. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that. I uh, don't know how much uh, PvP and co-op I'll be using doing on this build. I might do a little bit of PvP just to get uh, some of the items and rewards uh, needed uh, and some co-op to get uh, to higher level of the Sunlight Covenant. So we'll see. Uh, talk to this dude right here. Uh, you should get the Estus Flask and a trophy for the Estus Flask. Uh, you don't see me get it at this moment. I'm actually, you won't see me get like trophies in this first uh, video right here just because uh, I ended up recording this first part of the commentary and uh, my computer decided to take a dump on me about a couple weeks ago when I was in the process of editing it, so I had to send it in to HP uh, to get it fixed. So, uh, hence uh, why it took so long to uh, put out this commentary. It's been a couple of, it's been a, about a month since my last commentary, so. These guys are pretty easy to dispatch. Uh, you can either just uh, mash R1 or you can practice some pairing and backstabbing. And now make sure you hold with both hands and uh, just go ahead and plunge attack this boss right here that should take a good chunk of his health and make uh, the rest of this uh, battle pretty much a formality. I forgot to equip the pyro glove right here. Uh, the pyro pyromancy spells and the magic spells that you get with the starting sor sorcerer and pyromancer class make this uh, fight really easy and pretty much trivial. Uh, he goes down in just a few hits. You can actually just stay behind him and hit him with an axe the whole time. It doesn't really matter. So. Here we go. Just go ahead and proceed on to the next area. Uh, there is a soul item on your left. Don't really need it. It does not amount for much, but I'll pick it up just to show you guys where it is. Go ahead and skip the cutscene. And now we're going to arrive in Lordran. Uh, you should get a trophy for arriving here. 
uh, go ahead and rest by the fire. You can use your souls to level up. Uh, I'll go ahead and do just that. So it's just going to level up. Uh, see here. Guess endurance, vitality, blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's enough of that. Uh, there's humanity right here in the swell. Pick it up. Uh, next up are fire bombs in this little passageway. Uh, once you get the fire bombs, go to the elevator shaft and talk to Petrus, the cleric. Uh, he will offer you to join the Way of the White Covenant. Uh, that should be the first covenant you join if you're going for Platinum Trophy. Uh, if your start is a Knight or a Cleric, you're already part of this uh, covenant. However, you do still need to get this dialogue to get the trophy. So make sure you uh, go ahead and uh, say yes when he asks to, if you want to join the covenant. Uh, you can also learn miracles from him. Right now I'm not going to spend any souls on that. Uh, I'm going to get those miracles a little bit later. You can also get them from other miracle trainers. Uh, for now I'll just go ahead and jo join the covenant and learn the gesture. On top of the elevator shaft is uh, another consumable soul item. Uh, it does not amount for much, but I do recommend just grabbing it. Next up, we're going to go ahead and we'll go and find Petrus's little stash. Uh, I call it an early dark rave stash just because you get access to uh, cracked red eye orbs so you can invade people in the first area uh, that you'll go to. And you also have uh, Homeward Bones in there, uh, Morningstar, a Talisman, and another item uh, I guess that makes it a early Dark Wraith stash is uh, the Lloyd's Talisman, which prevents people from healing. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick up some of the soul items. And uh, we'll also get a couple of weapons as well. Ooh, I'm getting chased down. Wing Spear. And the other one is the Zweihander. Zweihander, I should say. And hopefully I'll be able to escape unharmed. Yeah, wow. That was a nice save right there. All right. So now we uh, scavenge the graveyard for some items. So it'll be another soul that I'm going to pick up really quick. A couple of more consumables to be had in this area. There's a soul item right here. Oops, almost stepped off the cliff here. I think I have more uh, deaths from ledges and falling off crap that uh, I do from the actual enemies in this game. It's pretty embarrassing how many times I've just randomly walked off a cliff or a ledge to my death. Okay, and this is the way to navigate around the graveyard if you don't want to die early on. Uh, you can also go into the catacombs uh, if there's a way to kill the boss there uh, without really much trouble and at an early level in a game so you can uh, uh, kindle the bonfire to its max level and have the max amount of healing items. Uh, however, I'm not going to do this quite yet. I will do it before I go into Anorlando, however. Now uh, that we're done with the graveyard area, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, find the first uh, good shield of this game. Well, actually, I shouldn't say first. Uh, if you start out as warrior, you have access to heater shield, which is a more incapable shield. And as bandit, you have access to spider shield. But uh, one of the best shields in this game is the dragon crest shield. And uh, I will show you guys its location in a second here. All right. Now, as you make any way down to this area, uh, I don't recommend venturing into this area early on in the game. However, there are a couple of items that you can pick up. 
they're fairly easy and uh, painless to get. Also a couple of weapons. One of which is the Astak, one of my favorite weapons in the game, uh, which is located right here. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and visit the dragon really quick. Just cannot resist killing these guys. Just something about it. Oops. Goodbye. Alright. Now, if you have a master key, you can uh, go through the store. Otherwise, you won't be able to access it till a little ways later in the game. And uh, it's actually a pretty nice item. I believe it's worth 1,000 souls or 800 souls. And there's another consumable item uh, right by this undead dragon here that's worth 2,000 souls. So it can actually, you can actually use it to purchase some items from the first merchant that you'll meet later on. You can uh, use it to uh, purchase some spells too. So uh, as you can see here, I'm not approaching the first stash of items. I'm going to this one because if you just pick up the Soul of Proud Knight here, uh, this will not aggro the dragon. Uh, what aggros him is when you pick up the items from the first stash. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick them up right now. And going to get annihilated. But that's alright. Um, sometimes you, if you uh, get the items in a timely fashion, you can actually just uh, dodge his strike or roll through it. Uh, however, as you can see, I was a little slow picking up that uh, shield there, so... Uh, did not did not get to roll in time. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, go back there to pick up my souls really quick. Uh, I believe uh, both Dragon Crest Shield and the Store of Street Shield I uh, needed for a Platinum Trophy. So those would be the first two items uh, that you are going to get in this playthrough that are needed for Platinum. Uh, also, the shield is quite handy. Uh, it has a very, very high flame resistance. Uh, as you can see, it's got an 85% resistance to fire, so it will block an 85% of the damage caused by uh, fire attacks, pyromancies, and uh, fire or chaos weapons. Well, at least as far as the the fire element of it goes, so it's pretty useful, uh, pretty useful early on in the game because it uh, allows you to resist such enemies as uh, the gargoyles, which are the bosses in the undead parish, and those uh, pesky undead uh, firebomb throwers that you encounter in the undead bird. So now I'm going to go ahead and make a really quick trip, hopefully, uh, to pick up my souls and my blood stain here. Alright, and got those. Uh, I'll come back later and in the playthrough to finish off this undead dragon. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick up the first Firekeeper soul. It's located in New Land of Ruins to um, buff up our Estus Flask a little bit. Okay. Now you can kill the ghosts that are in this area, in the opening area, by uh, equipping the one, uh, by using the transient curse item that you'll find right here, or you can also just uh, choose to run through them and get to the firekeeper soul and then teleport out. Uh, sometimes you'll die, sometimes you'll be able to uh, 
get away with that without too much trouble. So let's see which one will be this time. And as you can see, it's an item located right there. And see, I was able to get away from these ghosts without dying. And we're back at the original bonfire. Just uh, make sure that uh, you remember to go by the firekeeper and uh, use the Estus flask to pop up your. I mean, use the firekeeper soul to buff up your Estus flask. So there you go. And there we go. Now we're ready to go on our journey. Uh, some of the, just to recap, we've gotten the Dragon Crash Shield, we've gotten the Spy Honda, we've gotten the Winged Spear, uh, Spiked Mace, Morningstar, uh, we've also gotten the S Stock, and a Storus Trait Sword, which is a good item for like a Faith Dex build early on in the game. It's also a good item if you don't mind putting, putting some points into faith and you can actually use it to clear catacombs early on. I wouldn't recommend using it unless you're planning on incorporating a faith build uh, or incorporating faith into your build early on in the game just because uh, it requires some faith investment. So if you don't want to take your character that route, uh, I wouldn't recommend spending any points into Faith just because we're going to be getting uh, some better weapons uh, fairly soon. So uh, in the meantime, hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. Uh, this will be the end of the first episode. In the next episode, we're going to go into the Undead Berg. And uh, we're going to take on uh, Havel the Rock and the Taurus Demon. So uh, hopefully you guys, you guys enjoyed this commentary. Like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next uh, episode.